Welcome in this new course for VFX and Go. In this course, we can uh, talk about uh, Houdini and we can start with the first week where is uh, the fundamental uh, of Houdini. Well, what is it, Houdini? Houdini is the software, the application software with the, some basic proceduralism effects. What is it, proceduralism? Proceduralism is the chain of tasks. Every task you can have, for example, I have the task here, can I call E, and another task here, B. Okay? And if I take this, this task and apply to another task, I have the result. For example, A plus B equal C. Okay? And for example, E is 1, B is 2, and 1 plus 2 is 3. Okay? This is the, the concept of the task. In Udini, it works in the same way. Okay? You have the task here, task 1. You can attach to another task, and you can have the result. Okay? Is uh, in some case, for example, you can switch the task one with the task two. For example, if I create the additional, you have, for example, uh, if you have uh, B, you can write here, B plus E equals C. It's the same, okay, because B is two, E is 1 plus 1 equal 3. It's the same result you can have with E and B. In some case, you can do that. In another case, you can't do that. For example, I can delete all. If E equals is uh, 7 and B is 6. If I subtract minus, okay, C is 1, okay? If you do, for example, 6 minus 7, the result is minus 1. It's not the same because it's not the same because if you have the line you have the zero here you have the positive number and here the negative number and you can find for example here you can find one and here you can find minus one is not the same position is not the same same result in Newton is work the same way you sometimes you can take some task and you can apply for and you can change you can switch for example and you can have the result the same result in another situation for example you can't switch this task
work in the same way in Udini. In Udini, when you want, uh, for example, modeling uh, some uh, element, you need to start with, for example, the box. I move the vertex and, for example, move. For example, I can apply a different color and maybe my result is not the box, but is the, the cup, okay? I can create from the box one cup if I move the vertex and I create the color. More important in this case is uh, this structure is uh, created by node. Every operation, every task in Udini is one node. And you can take this node and you can, for example, click on this node. Maybe I can change, for example, the position of vertex. Uh, I can edit and in uh, automatic is change in all my structure, in all my tree, final the result. Maybe I can change something here and I don't have the cup. Maybe I can have the, um, the little cup, okay? Maybe I change the sides, uh, the, the whites. I take this and grab down and it's not the big cup, it's the little cup. And this is, change in automatic in all my system. Maybe this part is more clear with the another example, with the practical example. Another things I want to talk about in this les lesson is uh, the pipeline. When I use Houdini and for what I can use Houdini. Usually in uh, FX Industrial, Udini was used for create simulation, for create effects, or for create, for example, some particular effects on, uh, on the geometry. Also, we can create, for example, the um, environment, or we can create uh, the sum structure, is parametric structure, for example, the stairs, or for example, uh, some module of the spaceship, the, in, around the world is uh, uh, you can uh, replace more of this or for example the crowd simulation in this course we can see for example more uh, effects uh, dynamic effects but not to see for example the the crowd simulation however in the last year the side effects is started to create uh, and uh, develop more uh, aspect of this, uh, this software for uh, integrate and for use it uh, in all pipeline, in production pipeline. What I mean, usually when you start to work in the studios for uh, FX, for create the FX for films or for a commercial, we can use, for example, one software for modeling the characters or environment and usually is Maya and we can, or we can use, for example, the 3DX Max. It's more depends about, um, depends uh, um, on, about the, um, the company. Maybe there is some company use Maya or use 3DX Max, but in the VFX industrial more use Maya, okay? In motion graphic, for example, you can find more company use Cinema 4D. Or, for example, you can use uh, the Foundry model. It's another modeling uh, tools, okay? Or Blender, if you want. But usually I see, in my, for my experience, more people use, for example, Maya, in more studios, or 3 Max or uh, Cinema 4D. Uh, it's not uh, Blender, for example, I never work with people is working with Blender or with model for uh, my uh, pipeline. However, you can create the model, okay? And uh, 
also maybe plus a ZBrush. You create the model and after you create the model, you can send all uh, sheen or models or animation because usually also the animation is uh, did or done inside Maya or 3DX Max. And you can send to Houdini for create the effects, okay? And after maybe you can, when you finish, for example, the simulation of your effects, you can resend all to another software, like for example, Maya, with uh, Arnold or Vray for create the render. In conclusion, Houdini, you can use, you have the modeling, texturing, animation, so rigging and animation, and then you have the effects. And then you can come back on render. And then you have a compositing. Usually, Houdini is in the middle, in the middle in this process. But in this last time, um, side effects work for uh, create uh, also some uh, tools for animation, for rig, for modeling, for texturing, and also for compositing and rendering. Rendering inside Udini, you can use the engine is called Mantra. But personally, Mantra is very good, but sometimes is very slow. So you can find uh, some uh, alternative plugins like uh, Arnold or Redshift and for create rendering inside Udini. So another engine of rendering is Vray or Octane, it's available for also for Houdini. All plugins or Renderman is another more used in uh, industrial in uh, film is that, is Arnold with Renderman, is very more diffusion. However, this is the part where we concentrate, is in the effects not in animation, rendering, or compositing, but we see more the Houdini for effects. But uh, you can uh, keep in mind for the future, uh, side effects is working more for create uh, and for take also this part of pipeline. So maybe in the future you can use uh, also Houdini for modeling, for rigging, for animation, and maybe also for rendering. Compositing, for my experience, all company don't create the compositing inside Houdini or in another software like Maya, but use, for example, Nuke or Fusion for create compositing. Compositing is very, is here is stopped the, the 3D departments and we can start with the another department okay